Um, Suren, are you there? Yes, sir. Suren is there. Okay. Rajesh? Yes, sir. Hazik? Yes, sir. Yep, here. Okay. Nina? Yes, sir. Okay. Javi? Is Yavi there? Daya? Yes, sir. Who's yes, sir? That's Yavi. Uh, yeah, I mean, how are you? And, and, and yes, there. Okay, Alicia? Yes, sir. Uh, is Gyulin in connection? She's connected now? Or no? He's in the state that I was in. Okay. Uh, yeah. Gyulin, are you in? Oh, good. Okay. Um, Lingya? Hello, sir. Lingya is there? Lin, yeah, okay. Hi. Good afternoon. Ashraf is there. Ikwan? Yes, sir. Hakimi? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Juling? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Sikhil is there. And, and Avzai? Avzai is not there. Eh? Is, is Avzai there? No. Okay. Um, let's continue from where we left off. I told you about the, uh, the basic uh, marketer's projection. As you can see on the screen, this is what it looked like. And when it was out of shape, the uh, continental United States, it looked, it was elongated. And this is what needs to be corrected, but still the correction is not complete. So what are the uh, drawbacks that Mercator found in this projection? One was that um, the shapes were not correct, as we can see the shape of North America, okay? The shapes, the uh, shapes are stretched out, north south, but east west they seem to be okay. Now they did not meet the rule of orthomorphic because the scale should be the same in all directions. That's what we said is a requirement, okay? So, like we said, the scale expanding east west were to the secant of the latitude, whereas the expansion of the scale north south was to the tan of the latitude, and so it was not okay. Um, so this is the, the basic problem, but uh, latitude, parallels of latitude had separation which were incre increasing in proportion and that was what, what required to be adjusted. So he adjusted this, okay. so he recognized this problem of what the issue was. So the spacing between the parallels of latitude is increasing, but the rate of change was is too large. As you can see, the difference between this and this, and from here, from here northwards over here. So also south of this is the equator. Okay, you see the distances; they are not uniform. In fact, they're expanding at a very large rate. Okay, we will study more of this when we come to the scale. So he calculated and repositioned the, the parallels of latitude. And this is what we got after that. This is what we got. Okay. So this is the parallel of, uh, this is the equator. The uh, lines of longitude are in this case, parallels of longitude was the same as was with the projection. But this is what has been adjusted. The distance between the parallels of latitude. So now the expansion is the same. Expansion north-south is the same as the expansion was east-west, which is secant of the parallel of latitude. Okay. Mm. All right. So now. Yes, 
So, sorry, sir. So, so, so it seems like as we are getting uh, to the higher latitude, say we're getting to the pole, so it seems like the stretch between the two latitudes is getting is getting longer, is it? It was much more, but it's been readjusted to be able to meet this requirement of the expansion should um, should be at the rate of the secant of the latitude. Mm. Earlier, it was expanding as the tan tangent of the latitude. Okay. It has been readjusted to expand at the rate of the secant of the latitude. That is one by cos, just like it is okay. east west. Now, when you make mathematical adjustments to a chart, it becomes non-perspective. Right in the start, I think we discussed that whenever it is a raw projection, like it was just before Mercator made these adjustments, it was a perspective chart. Now, this is a non-perspective chart. That means it has been mathematically adjusted. Okay, the graticules are rectangular. These are now the qualities of this new Mercator's projection. The meridians are equally spaced, equally spaced parallel lines, like you can see, and the parallels of latitude are still unequally placed. Okay, but they meet the requirement of the expansion of scale the same as the secant of the latitude, like it is for the longitude. All right. Now, this meets our requirement of orthomorphic and, um, and conformality. The uh, graticules are rectangular. What was our first requirement? That the lats and long should cut each other at right angles. It meets that requirement. Okay. And they are straight lines. They are, oh, uh, Abdul, your picture is covering this huh? isn't it it's covering this slide oh okay uh, okay can you okay can you uh, i think i think in your screen you can see there's one tab uh, option to change it to instead of three you should three layout of the person in the same time can you change to one uh, you can show on the Who's talking at this at the moment? Can you do that? Or can you drag my picture to other place? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I, th I think I think I think from your perspective, only you you the one who see the picture. Uh, from all of us, we ah, see the. Yeah, it's okay. Slide. It's okay now. Yeah. All right. So okay. see, this is the uh, we are talking about tracks now. All right. Now, see this track. The track. It's a straight line. Okay, this meets our requirement, all right? all right? Because this is a rum line. Now, this is a rum line because it cuts all the meridians at the same angle. All right? And so, that is why it's called a rum line. Now, let's see the equivalent. Oh, I, Disturbed at the least. Yeah. All right. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. So straight line, numb line. What is the uh, shape of the equivalent great circle track? Now, on the globe, you'll see both. This is a rum line track. Okay. This is the great circle track. Now, what are the qualities of a rum line and a great circle? One is that the great circle is closer to the pole. The rum line is closer to the equator. That means the great circle is convex. To the pole and the rum line is convex to the equator means the distance it is closest to the equator as far as the great circle is concerned it is closest to the pole this is the north pole 
and this is the south pole. Here is a rum line. Again, it's closer to the equator. The great circle is closer to the pole. It curves towards the pole. All right. Okay, so two points always um, lies nearer the equator than the equivalent great circle track, which we just now discussed, right? So the rum line will be closer to the uh, equator and the great circle track will be closer to the pole. Let's see these three lumb lines, which are drawn on a Mercator's chart. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that is in the Northern Hemisphere, right? This is in the Southern Hemisphere, and this is the equator. This is across the equator. It's a rum line across the equator. Now we will see what the equivalent Great circles will look like on a Mercator's chart. All right, here it is. So that is the great circle track, the same points. Okay, great circle track, northern hemisphere. This is the rum line. You see the distance that is, it's concave. To the equator, that is, this is concave, it is open to the equator, but it will be convex to the pole. Pole. Okay. Yeah, so closer to the pole and further from the equator. In the case of the all right. Now let's see the southern hemisphere. There. It is a similar uh, situation. The great circle track is closer, okay, is convex to the south pole, and the rum line track is closer to the equator. So, concave to the equator, the great circle track, and it is convex to the pole. Okay, now when you talk of this great circle track which crosses this equator in this fashion, then it still obeys the same rules. See, this is convex to the pole and concave to the equator, this red line. Similarly, the red line, that is the great circle track in the northern hemisphere is concave to the equator, okay, and convex to the pole. All right, okay. So there'll be a S shape of the a great circle track when it crosses the equator. So keeps the great circle uh, shape concave to the equator. All right. Now let's see a long distance uh, track on a Mercator's chart, what it looks like. All right. All right. Here. From A to B, a rum line track will be a straight line track, right? But a great yes. circle track, say again, yeah? I know, say, go on, say. Anything? Uh, no, say, go on, go on. What is gone? Uh, no, continue, continue. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. Um, if anyone uh, of y'all don't have the map or the chart on that, on your screens, please let me know. So everyone has this slide on his on his screen. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Now yes, this yes. is the uh, rum line track, the straight line, and this is the great circle track. Again, curving in the same manner. That is convex to the pole, concave to the equator. Simil similarly, in the southern hemisphere, concave to the equator, convex to the pole is closer to the pole. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see this 
so some great circle tracks are also shown as straight lines you will appreciate that these are this is the equator of course it's a great circle in any case you see it here as a straight line these are the lines of longitude they come out in a mercator as parallels of longitude because it is on a mercator what is that is they continue to be meridians and lines of longitude okay they are straight lines they are great circle but straight lines the equator is a great circle but is a straight line all others will curve following the rules like we just said they'll be convex to the poles and concave to the equator all right let's see this routing auckland by singapore to london los angeles and back to auckland now these are the rum line tracks okay what will the equivalent great circle track look like let's see there it is okay and the great circle track if you will notice follows the same rules convex to the nearest pole so also convex to the nearest pole okay and when you look at it over here it appears that the distance on a great circle track would be larger but it is not the great circle track is smaller it's a distance is shorter than the rum line track okay understood any doubts until now till here the um, the comparison between the great line great circle track and the rum line track okay all right let's talk about scale the scale will be correct at the equator why why do you think it will be correct at the equator uh cylindrical so then, projection why because student so why um the student there yeah i'm here that is good huh student so Yes, yes. Okay, Lingya. Why is the scale correct at the equator on a Mercator's chart? We did it yes, day for yesterday. Because I the cone touches the the reduced earth at the equator, so the scale is correct at the equator. Absolutely, it's not a cone; it's a cylinder. Okay, because the cone is the Lambert, is the conical projection. So you're right. it is because that that the 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 paper the sheet touches the reduced earth at the equator and that is why the scale is correct here at the equator now let's see how this scale varies as we go north or south there you are so the scale expands yeah hakimi are you there yes sir i'm here Okay. At what rate does the scale expand, north and south? At the rate of the scale expand. As the it expands as the some function of the latitude. What function of the latitude? Secant. Secant of the latitude. Absolutely right. Okay. So the expansion north south. is a function of the secant of the latitude okay that is 1 by cos lat is the rate of the expansion of scale okay now let's try and so when you put it in the form of a formula you say that the scale expands as the secant that is 1 by cos shapes look at even though this is the reduce the uh, uh, what you call it uh, the corrected uh, the uh, chart okay this is not it is non perspective chart it has been corrected mathematically but the shapes and sizes still some of them remain the same for example now this let's take is the uh, is greenland it is 1/16th of 
this East Africa. But look at the size that it is shown. Netherlands is one, th one third the size of India. But see the way it is shown. All right. So as far as the shapes are concerned or the, uh, you know, they are not, uh, they are not the same. The shapes are not exactly the same. But like I said, when we are talking about small areas, the shapes will not matter. They will look, they will look the same. When we talk about small areas. In a large area like this, when we are seeing the whole earth, this is what the comparison of the shape and the size looks like. Any doubt on this? Yeah, everyone clear on this? Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Yes, now sir. look at the scale. Yeah, all right. Now look at the scale. Remember when we were doing departure? All right. When we were doing departure and we were coming across those problems of so many nautical miles south, so many nautical miles east, so many nautical miles west or north, and then so many nautical miles west. We said that because of the higher latitude, all right, the scale is different. Now you can see on the Mercator what was meant by that. This is two and a half squares, is 3000 nautical miles. Okay. This is five squares. Same distance, 3000 nautical miles at a higher latitude. And it is twice this because it is 60 degrees. You all remember that at 60 degrees, okay, the size is double. The scale is double. Here you see the scale is double. It is two and a half squares. This is five squares. Is this understood? Yes. How the scale yes, differs? Sir. How yes, the sir. scale differs as you go to the higher latitudes? All right. Now, when we see it in this fashion, let's see. All right? The distance between the meridians, now let's take the equator. Okay? This is 1 is to 4 million. At 60 degrees north, the scale is, it is expanded scale. So, you will find for the same distance, it is 2 million. Okay? For example, if this is, if they are talking about one square, this is 4 million, this will be 2 million. Why? Because it is expanding. You need a larger length to reflect the same distance. Like it was 3000 here, but 3000 extended from here to here in a Mercator's chart. If you remember in the previous uh, chart. Okay, so here when you reflect it on a chart, this is how it will look. If you are talking about one square of this distance, one distance, if this is 4 million, this will be half, 2 million. This aspect clear? Yes. Yeah, if anyone has yes, any sir. doubt, please stop me. Okay, because this yes, online business, you may not be able to. So, north-south, 60 degrees, it is half. All right. Now, when we talk of the spacing between the meridians, the spacing on a chart will be the same. Here. If it is 6 inches there, it is 6 inches there. It's 6 inches, no matter what the latitude is. The equator at 60 degrees, you know, this distance will not change. But the equivalent scale will change. Okay, when we are talking about scale, this will change. But as, talk, as, as far as distance between scales are concerned, it is the same throughout the chart. Okay, so the meridians are equally spaced. So there will be the same physical distance between, that is the meridians will be the same physical distance between any two given meridians throughout the entire depth of the chart. Okay. 
now um we have to get to the derivation of the scale right you don't need to know the derivation it is derived from the uh, departure formula okay but when uh, when you talk about scale when you talk about say the scale at a particular latitude is equal to the scale of the equator into secant of that latitude all right so scale at any latitude is scale at the equator into the secant of that latitude this is derived from the departure formula but it's not important so we won't go into the derivation it's a very simple derivation but there's no need to go into it but this is your formula scale at any latitude is equal to the scale at the equator into the secant of that latitude or 1 by cos of the latitude yeah so it's easier to deal with the denominator because when we are talking about scale or anything else it is the the denominator that we are interested in so the scale at any latitude will be the denominator we can take the denominator at this latitude we are is equal to the uh, scale at the equator again we can take the denominator at the equator and secant of the latitude again the denominator will be cos right so we can turn it upside down so thus for a mercator chart with a scale of 1 is to 1 million at the equator let's see what the scale at 60 degrees will be okay so in any case you could have taken the denominator completely and you would have been right oh sorry sorry <laughs> okay is it clear up to here yes yes sir okay now right now what i want you to do is all of y'all i want you to find out use the same formula all right and give me find out the uh, scale at 8 degrees north okay take the equator the scale at the equator is 1 million right and give me the scale at 8 degrees north simple calculation just do it please that is scale at 8 degrees north is equal to scale at the equator into secant of 8 degrees or 1 by cos of 8 degrees whoever has it just call and let me know Yeah, any more water? Ah, one point zero one, what over one point zero nine something? One point zero nine zero. Yeah. Is it one point zero nine? No, no, no. I mean, is six zero something behind? uh and first who's that you need to uh, identify yourself because i can this is abdul who's it uh, yes yes me abdul okay yeah so how much is it so, so second cake is 
scalar a big v is equal to one by one, one million one, into one one is to one million one one divided by one million into one divided by or if you are working only with the denominator it is one million into how much one times 10 what? to the power negative 6. Cos of 8 degrees? How much is cos of 8? 1 over cos 8, 8 degree. No, 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 no. Just cos 8 degrees. How much is cos 8 oh, degrees? 0 0.990. 0 .990. That is it. It is 0 0.990268. What did I tell you? Like what you see in front of your screen, you use only the denominator, the lower portion right in which case you will get 1 million into 0 0.990268 yes or no scale at 8 degrees is equal to 1 by 1 million into 1 by cos 8 degrees yes cos 8 degrees is 0 0.990268 yes so 1 million into 0 0.990268, you get how much? 990268? That is your scale at 8 degrees? 990268.07. Yes. Okay, we'll stick to 6 digits. Okay, 990268? Anyone any doubt? Why do we only use the denominator? Why? Because it is simpler. You would use the numerator if you wish. You will get 1 by 990268. It's the same thing. Okay. I suggested that you use only the denominator for ease of calculation. Because otherwise, if you don't put the brackets, etc. properly on a calculator, it will come to 10 raised to minus 9, things like that. Or it will show you error. Whereas what I'm suggesting is you resolve the denominator as it is. And if there is a numerator, say 2 or 3 or whatever, then divide it. And you still get the denominator. I, I um, showed you this method when I, we were discussing scale. You all have forgotten. Remember when we discussed scale, I said deal only with the denominator, you will find it simpler on your calculator. Okay, now does anyone have any doubt on the scale at 8 degrees being 1 by 990268? If you have doubt, just ask me just now. Everyone clear? Yeah. That the scale at 8 degrees is 1 by 990268. Okay? All right. If, you know, it makes it worse when you guys were in class, you know? Because there, yes, I see those dumb looks here. I don't see it. Here, I don't see anything. So, in a way, it's a relief to you guys. Yeah? Okay. Now, what is, what is the meaning of this? 1 by 990268 means that the scale at 8 degrees is less than 1% in error. Okay? If it was 1 by 1, that means the scale would have been correct. Yes or no? Yeah, Abdul, Ashraf, who yes, you guys are talking to. All right. Now, if it is 1 by 990268, it means the difference in the scale is only 1%. This 1% okay. is important. This 1% is important in navigation because when the scale is anything less than 1%, means you can measure the distance with your scale. You can take a scale on a chart, see the distance, and if it is 1 inch, you can say, yes, this is 1 million inches. If it is, if the difference is more than 1%, then you have to go to that latitude. 
you measure it with your divider go to that latitude and then see what it is you know that latitude on your chart you have the chart laid out in front of you okay now if there is something within 8 degrees you take your scale and you measure it and that will be your correct scale if you go beyond 8 degrees on that chart suppose 10 12 degrees of latitude for that for that chart okay then you will have to measure that distance with a divider and go to that latitude uh scale the scale of that latitude is what it will be 1 inch is equal to that 1 degree 60 nautical miles okay so it will be laid out there at the side you measure it there on your latitude scale and then see what your scale is in this case you can do it measure it with a with a scale and and see what the distance is that is what is meant by 1% of latitude you can use a scale and measure it whereas if it is anything more than 8 degrees you will have to do measure it in that area okay within that square or within those two squares aspect clear won't be clear not clear no, so, yes sir yes sir no someone no someone who doesn't understand please ask me don't worry as you are aware i have no problem if you haven't understood let me know this what i'm trying to explain is this 1% error what is the significance of this 1% error in this in this case it is up to 8 degrees of latitude on a mercator's chart on a mercator's chart if up to 8 degrees the error is only 1% that means any chart which is up to 8 degrees you can take a scale measure it and that scale will be correct anything beyond 8 degrees you have to go to the local latitude and measure it with the distance that you have seen in your divider on that latitude or around that latitude okay all right even even if you didn't understand it when we meet okay we will discuss it it's there is no great uh, thing that's going to happen till then all right okay now um let's go to the properties of the mercator's chart now that we've done all this what are the properties of the mercator's chart okay let's talk about scale mercator's scale is correct at the equator because it's the same as the reduced earth you all only told me when we discussed it just now then the mercator's scale expands as the secant of the latitude that's one of the properties mercator scale is within 1% up to 8 degrees latitude we just now did the calculation and we seen that a similar calculation if you do for 6 degrees you will see that it is within half a percent okay that means it will be less than 0.5 here it is less than 0.9 okay there it will be less than 0.5 it is just enough for you to know that the mercator scale is within half a percent up to 6 degrees and it is up to 1% within 8 degrees that is the scale error all right is it clear up to now yes what is with automorphism now the the mercator chart as modified is automorphic and conformal because it meets those two things those two rules that is the latitude and longitude cut each other at right angles and the scale expands uniformly both east west and north south and it expands as the secant of the latitude okay now the graticule is rectangular and that is why the latitudes and longitudes cut each other at right angles i told you about shapes i told you that greenland appears as large as africa of that state in africa when it is actually 18 16 or 18 times 
greater than greenland okay the other thing is that scandinavia is shown as so large when it actually is one third the size of india all right chart length is equal to 3000 nautical miles at 60 degrees north which is twice the chart length we saw that when i showed you the chart and i showed you at the equator it was 3000 and at 60 degrees the same 3000 expanded to was double the number of squares okay now this distribution of area and scale leads to the change of shape in the land mass at the higher latitudes but it will not affect our navigation because when we deal with for navigation areas we deal with a smaller area and so the shape will not affect our bearing and our angles okay the shape itself is of no consequence to us as navigators because the the shape and area is important for example in when you are comparing agricultural output if the agricultural output in a in so many square kilometers is something then you compare it with the equivalent so many square kilometers at a lower latitude in this case for navigators it is not important as long as our distances and our angles and bearings are correct we are not bothered about areas comparison of areas okay till now any questions no yeah sir uh, so you so are you still showing the the similar spec or you will be changed to this like no i haven't changed the side i'll okay. just change okay. the side okay just no this okay. gives another example of how to calculate uh, scale uh the same way we, remember we did it when we were discussing scale denominator a by denominator b is equal to cosine a by cosine b same example i mean same formula you can use to calculate scale okay for here if we are talking about um the scale at 60 degrees let's say so we are trying to get what is the scale at 60 degrees when the um scale at the equator is 1 million so denominator a by denominator b is equal to cosine 60 by cosine 0 here yeah. okay so we got 1 is to 1 million uh, half million just like in the previous example is this clear the use of this uh, formula we've done it before when we did scale yeah yes, yes sir clear yes, sir asana abdul we did this when we did scale yes 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 sir right yes sir yes all right now what i wanted to do is these i don't know how to deal with this because this requires calculation we will get four different types of problems okay and what are these problems given scale at the equator find the mercator scale at some latitude like we just now did an example we did an example for 8 degrees we knew the scale of the at the equator and we found out what the scale was at 8 degrees which was scale at any latitude is equal to scale at the equator into secant of that latitude okay scale at the equator you can find the mercator scale at some other latitude in a similar manner using the same formula you can do given mercator scale at some latitude find mercator scale at the equator it is the opposite the first time we had the scale at the equator and we found it for 8 degrees suppose you were given the scale at 8 degrees you will be able to find the scale at the equator for using the same formula any doubts on these two statements that i just now made
Yeah, you all are clear? Okay. The third one is given Mercator scale at one latitude, find out Mercator scale at another latitude. Okay, suppose, for example, Okay. So, given Mercator scale at some latitude, okay, find out Mercator see. scale at some other latitude, right? Now, write down this problem. On a Mercator's chart at 54 degrees south, the scale is 1 is to 2 million. So we like to uh, write on the whiteboard. Say again. Write on the blackboard. Should I do that? So you like to write on the whiteboard. You can stop sharing yeah. and uh, take the whiteboard out. Yeah. Okay. So how do I get rid of this slide now? Okay. You stop sharing. Stop sharing. Shall again. I? Yes. Oh, stop share. Okay. Stop sharing. Right. Okay. Start new share and then choose the whiteboard. Okay, share screen again, isn't it? Okay. Yes, and choose the whiteboard. Whiteboard. Okay. And then? Okay, this is the whiteboard. Okay, so you can uh, choose uh, text, text or you want to draw? No, uh, I can, choose I text. Okay. text. Oh, okay. 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 Use the same, um, use the formula um, denominator A by denominator B is equal to scale A by scale B. Uh, sorry, cos A by cos B. Denominator A by denominator B is equal to cos A by cos B. Yeah, how much you get? Three zero eight three eight zero five point eight zero seven. Good, good, good. That's it. It's about three million. Okay. Three million. Yes. Three zero eight three eight zero six. Okay, who all got it? Or who all didn't get it? It's a simple thing, use the same formula. Denominator A by denominator B is equal to cos A by cos B. 
so you will get one over three million okay Got it, sir. Oh, quite bad at this a symbol there. Okay. Where's the darn division in this, yeah? Where's the division in the keyboard, Abdul? Uh, is it this side the shift button? No, no, at the bottom one, beside the shift button. Uh, beside the? Shift button, same row with the mic uh, and, and button, beside the shift button. Bottom right. Oh. Yeah, I'm terrible at this. The second row from bottom. Second row from bottom? Yeah. Second row bottom, uh, right. Right. Uh, page down, arrow, pause. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. there's a question mark. Beside the, beside the dot. Slash, beside slash, the slash, beside, beside the, the slash, a, yeah, yeah, that's a slash, slash, yeah, slash this one, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so okay, yeah, I suppose that's all I can use. Okay, so by cost, yes, when you yes. do the work this out. That's what you get. Yes. Three zero eight three eight zero six. Okay. Yes, sir. Any doubts, anyone? Yeah. No, okay. sir. <laughs> okay. There's one last thing which we need to do, which is All right. Given a fixed chart distance between two meridians, find the Mercator scale at a specific latitude. Okay, let's. Oh, what do I do? So you can choose the eraser uh, or clear all. And Okay. Right. Text again. Yes. Indeed. What is that? Abdul? Yes, Salam, sir. For what? Time? 
Oh yeah. Is it for time? Oh yeah, Allah. Huh? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Shall we? All right. We'll do one thing. We will stop it here. Okay. And uh, are we meeting tomorrow? Uh, Friday, Friday after, sir. Friday after. Sir. Friday, sir. Friday, sir. Friday. Friday, sir. Guys are fed up of me already. Online. It's a terrible thing this thing. Okay. All right. Then we will continue this, and then you can resolve the problems that I'll give you on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Now, uh, wait. I, I, I want to have to say bye bye to you all, all individually. Uh, again, Suren. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. <laughs> for <laughs> all of you again if you have any doubts all right please ask me okay we have a few minutes there's no problem um exam is there no yes i'm i'm here sir you are there you are there ayman is not here rajesh yes hi sir gilbert bye bye gilbert <laughs> bye sir yeah you Is he there? Or oh, he is feeling too hungry? He's gone off. He's gone, sir. <laughs> he's gone. Okay, Hazi. No, maybe he's. Uh, bye, sir. Bye, bye, Hazi. Nina. Yes, sir. Good. Bye, Nina. Bye, Zeevi. Bye, sir. Bye. There. Sir. Bye, Elisha. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, 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 Golan. He's still not communicating. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye, sir. Bye, bye. Okay, Ashraf. Bye, bye, sir. I'm here, sir. Bye, 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 sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. There's, there's no Ashraf, sir. I'm here, sir. Boy. Okay. Our team, Yuling. Bye, bye, sir. Oh, bye. <laughs> With Abdul, I without him, I couldn't have managed and Sikal. Abdul's not bye, here, sir. sir. Yeah. Okay. Well, she can. Right. Bye, guys. Abdul. Yeah. Thank Abdul. you so much. And I, I thank apologize you, sir, for a terrible, terrible session. Auzai is absent, sir. Auzai. Auzai. Where is he? There? No, I'm here, sir. I'm no, here, no, sir. No, He's with Iman, sir. Not there. Okay. All right. Iman, Iman sleeping beside me. <laughs> Oi. How much? How much can you sleep, Iman? Abdul, we. Okay, all right. Okay, Abdul.